All right, so what do we learn from the boys? What do they tell us? Here's the deal. You got to understand a little bit about how the recording artists work, right? But they tell us that artists who are most affected by piracy are the ones who speak out against it. Here's the deal. Very few recording artists actually make money off of record sales or streams or, or whatever. The big, big, major, major artists do, but the mid-level people do not. So how the recording industry works, and this is very traditionally, is this. You're a recording artist, you get an advance, let's say half a million dollars. This advance is to cover everything. Studio time, engineers, sample clearance, guest artists, pizza, weed, hotels, parts of music videos, etc., etc. whatever it takes for you to create an album. In exchange, the record label gets the master rights to your recordings, they own the copyright on your recording, and then you have to pay them back. How do you pay them back is this, you get points. Points are this, 20 points, that's called 20%. 14 points, that's 14%. Most lower level recording artists who really aren't reputed, don't have a big name, are getting like 14 to 20%. Bigger artists are getting 20 to 30%, or 20 to 30 points. Okay, what that is, is essentially you get a 20 cent, 14 cent, 30 cent royalty on every dollar. <clears throat> now, that's cool, right? Say, you know, you sell a million copies or, or whatever, which no one does anymore, or you have a bajillion streams, right? The thing is, is that you still have to pay the record label back. You pay them back with your royalties. Once you have done what's called recouping, which means you've paid back that half a million dollars or $100,000 through your royalties, that's when you start to see your 14 cents on the dollar or your 30 cents or whatever it is. So what we see in South Park and what we see actually in this episode is, is all these major recording artists who sell million, millions of copies, they go double, double platinum, you know, whatever, triple platinum, those are the ones who would actually see royalties. They make big money off of record sales. Then you have other people who don't give a shit because they never recoup. And most, people, most artists rarely, 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 rarely ever recoup, which means pay back the record label based on sales. So they don't care if you take their music for free. But the artists who, will speak, who spoke out against piracy, Lars Ulrich, etc., Metallica, Britney Spears, um, the people they kind of make fun of in South Park are the ones who speak out against it as wrong and evil. Um, so piracy doesn't affect all artists the same. And guess what? Because of piracy, celebrities will, will be doomed to a life of only semi-luxury. You know, no island, island in French Polynesia from Master P's son. Before we get to the film, just a few bits from Lessig, which I'd ask you to read. But the history of the content industry, right, is a history of piracy. This just basically means that all of the industries that produce content that we consume are born out of piracy. Um, he says that the radio station pirates the value of Madonna's work. So let me give you an example here. What he means by this is when Madonna songs, or let's just say Taylor Swift songs, play on the radio, Taylor Swift does not get paid for the sound recording being played on the radio. There's no performance rights for that. I'm talking about radio in your car, okay? The Taylor Swift song is used to draw you in to, to listen, and then because you're drawn in to listen to Taylor Swift and other music like hers, um, the radio station is able to sell ad time to advertisers, essentially sell you as a demographic to adverts. But Taylor Swift doesn't get paid because there's no performance rights for sound recordings. So when a sound recording is played at a bar, when a DJ plays it, when it's played at Autzen, the, the record label and recording artist does not get paid. Taylor Swift would get paid if she wrote the song. Okay, so in this sense, her value is being pirated. That is, she's not being paid, right? Her, the value of Taylor Swift that's bringing you to the, to the airwaves, they're not being compensated for that. So that's kind of the point he's trying, he's trying to make. But he's saying, you know, America is a pirate nation. We're born a pirate nation and this law, these laws, turn the intangible into property. And that's very important. So 